Seal Rocks is a beautiful spot on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. Well known for the lighthouse that was completed in 1875 and still operates today, the village is surrounded by Mile Lakes National Park on land and a marine life sanctuary in the water. Lighthouse Beach faces south with Treachery Head at one end and Sugarloaf Point at the other. Boat Beach, however, faces north and is quite protected. This is where the commercial fishermen have operated since the village came into existence. There are 70 lots in the settlement, most of which are adjacent Boat Beach. There is one shop and life is simple, with walking, surfing, fishing, swimming and diving being the main activities available. Status Rock is a little island just off the beach which attracts a wide variety of birds and marine life. The next beach along is number one, which also faces north, looking up towards Salito and Bluey's Beach. It is also a protected beach and is swimmable in most conditions. Kareki is a beach house with a difference. The intention was to build an uncomplicated holiday house. The original fibro shacks of the village are slowly being lost as properties change hands, so the approach was to build in a way that retains the language of the existing built forms of seal rocks and to be respectful of context. There is a gentle rise on the site to the rear and an outlook to the bush to the front and to the rear. The building focuses on a central courtyard with all rooms opening directly onto it. This provides an improved sense of privacy and enclosure to the outdoor living area. The surrounding internal roof edge allows protected circulation under the eaves. This means there are no hallways and it reduces the amount of building and enhances the connection with the outdoors. This also frames a beautiful sky view which is animated at night by the lighthouse beam passing overhead. Named Kareki, which means bush myrtle in the Waramai language, the feel of the house is one of luxury camping. Being able to close the outer perimeter makes all rooms open to the central deck. This allows you to sleep under mosquito nets with a view of the night sky. A wide shaded entry foyer is for storage of surfboards, hanging towels and wetsuits, while a shower nearby reduces sand spreading everywhere. The most popular space is the shaded hammock deck, which receives constant use. Materials throughout relate to the context of the village. They are durable and corrosion resistant. There are no city finishes like glass splashbacks, ceramic tiles or polished stone. The walls are lined with fibre cement cladding and aluminium channels as a modern interpretation of a fibro shack. Locally milled black butt decking and colour bond roofing are the other dominant materials both of which are used extensively in the village. Floors are polished particle board and all the joinery is form ply. The exterior is a simple grey and silver. The interiors are colourful, inspired by rock pools and neighbouring bush. There's a wet composting worm farm to treat waste. The roof feeds 45,000 litres of water storage and there's a two kilowatt power system on the roof, so the building is largely off the grid. Bookings are available at www.kareki.com.